Sure thing. <laughs> actually gonna do it when we're driving. Yeah, we're doing it now. Well, you have to say hi now, then you have to focus on driving. Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. I'm driving, so Holly's gonna do an intro. Don't worry, we're at a red light. It only just went green, so it's my turn now. We are diving today to 40 meters, which is the deepest dive I've done. Not the deepest dive I'll ever do, because one day I will get tech certified. Um, but we went to Buddy's house reef and we went all the way down to the sand, which was conveniently at 40.0. Mark only went to 39. Oops. I went all the way to 40 and then on our way back up we had a free swimming frogfish which is a pretty unusual sighting so keep an eye out for that keep an eye out for everything see how it goes see if anybody gets narked for anybody that is not a scuba diver getting narked is similar to a feeling of euphoria underwater and a feeling of being drunk always been helping the instructor examine ADC <laughs> so she's in that mindset right now anyways hope you enjoy see ya bye, bye. So here we go, we're going for Holly's deepest dive. Now how did this happen? This happened because Holly was teaching a DM course in the week before and had been on the wall at Buddy House Reef and gone down to 36 metres for their deep dive. She'd never been to 40 metres and her idea was, let's drop down, touch the sand because I reckon it's around about 40 metres. So what do we do? We go grab our tanks on Saturday when it's a swap over day for our guests and go for it. We head down to see if the sand's at 40 meters for Holly's deepest dive. As we slowly make our descent down the wall, hitting 33, 36 meters, 37, slowly watching it tick down as we go to reach the sand. The way the sea bottom is just covered in sand, we felt we were slowly descending onto the moon surface, like the Apollo 11 missions. Here we are, 38 metres, two metres to go, and all I had playing in my head was this recording. Eagle, Houston, we, Houston, we see you on the stair, over. That's your Eagle, done, done. Still looking very good. Here go. Lights on, forward. Forward, 30 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Big shadow, four forward, drift into the right level. 30 seconds. Okay, engine stop. We've got to get down, Eagle. Houston, uh, tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Touchdown. That's all I had going through my head on the way down. It's making me laugh once we hit 40 metres. Even had a touch of sand. Well, my computer said 39 point something metres. Holly is telling me I got 40 metres exactly and just likes to show off to outdo me, prove me proof to everyone that she's better than me. She likes doing that same look. I did 40 meters, yes. How awesome's that? And he only did 39, but look how happy she is. She's done almost 1500 dives and our first time hitting 40 meters for a deep dive. We spent some few minutes down there, whatever our NDLs allowed us, it was only like three, four minutes before we started making our slow ascent back up the wall of Buddy House Reef to see what we could find. Holly is buzzing, as you can tell. She is so excited, so happy, because all she talked about the whole week was, I'm gonna hit 40 meters, we've got to go do it. We had a few hours, as I said, on the swap over between the guests, so we had to go for it. She is buzzing. Now, 
is up to our usual antics again, as we're now cruising around about 25 metres. One of the great things with Bonaire is if you look around, you start spotting some cool marine life, especially on Buddy House Reef. First thing we come across is an adult spotted drum and then a file fish as well. But you may remember in Dominica we had a video on frogfish when we first found our very first frogfish. Now, the good thing with Bonaire is they are everywhere. But what I was laughing before we found them was this Spanish hogfish was just so curious, just following along, trying to play up to the camera as he comes back in. And I see Holly wondering, what is she doing now? We're shallow now, what is she doing? We're only around about 14, maybe 12 meters. And she's sitting there playing with a damselfish. This damselfish, I don't know if she's trying to fight it, box it, she's got a fist out, but the damselfish is definitely trying to fight her. And the Spanish hogfish keeps coming in the background like, what are you two doing? Like, that ever cracks me up the way that Spanish hogfish just keeps coming around and watching them like, what are you two doing? I think she's trying to have a fight with a damselfish. The damselfish is definitely putting a fight up, but Holly is just being Holly. Now, as I was saying, we look around and you look in the sponges and you start spotting frogfish everywhere. Now, we spot a kind of a yellowy green one kicking in the reef, and this is what I like. They're very unique and they're very cool to spot. And next thing, when we're passing up, we have another group of divers just on the reef and they're pointing to another frogfish. Within the space of a short gap, there's like two frogfish as a cameraman drops down to take a shot of it. And I come in closer once the photographer's got his shots and I see it just tucked in those barrel sponges. Another frogfish. We continue moving along the dive site, seeing what else we can find as we just pass group after group on the reef. But what is cool is coming up very soon. We have a big tarpon cruising past us on the reef. And to be honest, at the dive sites in Bonaire, there's tarpon everywhere. The very first time I came to Bonaire, I thought it was a shark, and Holly laughed at me when we were doing her IDC because she's like, no, that's tarpon. Because I just saw it at the corner of my eye the very first day. Now, I realise I've not made that mistake since. Loads and loads of coral fish everywhere on this dive site. We have French grunts, smallmouth grunts, blue striped grunts, soldier fish, everything you'd ever want to see on a dive. Just so much marine life in Bonaire, but this is what's really cool coming up. As I said earlier, we have a frogfish, but we actually catch the frogfish swimming. This is something you don't get to see that often, but this was so cool to see. I come up with a red frogfish this time, but in a second, he's about to start swimming. And I was not expecting it, because you can see I'm just start swimming away. I come back to have a look again, and look. There he goes, he's about to make the jump. He's considering it, he's considering it, then he goes for it. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? This frogfish is actually going for it. It was so cool to see this frogfish swim, seeing this for the very first time. Now, unfortunately for us, the GoPro died after this, and we had to buy a new GoPro before Caymans, so we don't really have any more footage of it. But what we do have is a donkey sanctuary coming up for you guys to enjoy with the kids. Doggy sanctuary, the kids are about to go feed the donkeys. As you can see, they're in the back of the trucks, about to be driven round, and the donkeys are ready to get fed. Fun day in Bonaire with Kids Sea Camp. Let's go check it out. Let's go. <laughs> 